Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back. Let's play Boo Dragon on hard mode on the Xbox 360. Last time, we managed to rescue uh, Gura Gura from the Cave of Exiles, and then we went ahead to the next storyline area, the uh, desert, in this little area that we're in uh, to the north of Gibral, even though we went the wrong way, but oh well. And then uh, I couldn't find the last enemy around here, so I went ahead and looked for him off screen for a little bit, thinking that they appeared in monster battles, or not monster battles, uh, just in groups with like the, uh, the orange grunts. But then I found a whole bunch of them over here, and I was trying to get all four of them at once, but that didn't work out so well. And uh, I messed up last time. I said you could wash away their shields with a critical hit. Uh, you can wash away their uh, their swords with a critical hit. And we're coming up pretty much on a very good place to uh, level up here pretty soon. Uh, well, I must not have healed up for the last battle. Okay, I'll have to, uh... Alright, you want to go for the Shadow Sword, I'll pick it right there. And you have double items, so go ahead and do a little bit of healing. Just a little bit. So what can you do? Yeah, you, you really need a higher level of black magic because you're not doing a whole lot with your uh, current spells, are you? You know what? How about a nice ground spell to shake them up? Okay, looks like you're dead too, Shu. That sucks for you, but... Ow. As long as you don't need from my front row characters again, we should probably. Uh, there we go. Much better. Uh, yeah, just regular old Shadow Sword will be fine. I think Zola still has slow down level 1, so that's not going to do a whole lot of damage to both of them. Oh sure, knock his, knock his uh, sword off while you kill the thing, so that's uh, really helpful. You could have knocked it off before he died, no? We can actually knock his shield off here, but I'm not going to count on it. Or his sword, shield, whatever you knock off. Mm 
Okay, why are you picking on Shu so much, you little rat bastard? A lot tougher than they need to be. Yeah, then again, it kind of sucks that uh, make them weaker. You gotta rely on a lock and base critical hit, so that kind of sucks, but oh well. And there we go. Finally. Jeez, that took forever. Very nice. Uh, while I was uh, running around fighting these guys for the, uh, or their lesser cousins for their thinking that they appeared in the groups, I also got a few other new skills. Uh, let's see, who else got it? Uh, you got Battle Essence. Oh yeah, uh, Jiro got Barrier Magic level, I think, 6. So now he's, uh, now he's nice and high. Uh, let's see. Why is it saying Barrier Magic gives me the same magic defense when that's a uh, magic fence skill? It's kind of weird. That's kind of odd, but okay. But anyways, uh, I also got the... I think that's support magic leveled up, I don't remember. Um, and... Zola got the loot ability. Who else got something? Uh, somebody else got something. Um, oh yeah, I think Zola also got the, uh, or Mar Mar got the Repel Aura here, which lets uh, weaker enemies not be attracted to your party. But nothing really too important. Uh, let's pop that, and... How are you resisting my field barrier? They killed one of them, it looked like, but then it didn't kill the other one. That's, uh, kind of odd. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, let's see how much Moda actually does. Yeah, not even anything really. Uh... Let's see how much your Moda does, since it's actually the charge version and the level 2 version. Why did the uh, field beer not work on the. Uh... Why did it only work on one of these guys? That's really weird. And apparently a critical hit from a counter doesn't drop their sword. So that's a really fast remove. Finally get a crit, and it doesn't even work. Uh, you know what? Let's pop up a uh, trap floor. Just just to just to do a little extra damage to a winner. There we go. Again with the attack of the same character, but oh well. actually gonna kill my tank. Well, that's... Oh, I forgot. I forgot I have the MP shield equipped on him. Well, there you go. That actually did pretty well. Okay, I can live with that. Let's see. Can you absorb any good HP from them with your attack here? Let's find out. Well, they almost killed my tank if I didn't have his uh, MP shield. That worked out pretty well. 
Yeah, you, let's go for a nice water run, actually. Yeah, they gave me a few HP back, and I didn't have enough FP to survive. Oh well. Should have been right before she would have taken. Ah, damn it. Well, that still works. Okay. I thought I was going to kill him with the Shadow of Sword, so I was hoping to get the heal off before. Wait, why does it say trap 4 plus 2 when I didn't charge it up at all? That's kind of odd. Yeah, oh well. I know the other two are missing their trap door because, well, they died. Okay, I was trying to go for a quick charge, but I forgot Shadow has that really bastard charge, but oh well. There we go. Alright, with any luck, we can actually defeat all these other guys with our barrier magic instead of having to actually fight them, they'll just be faster. Oh, maybe they're just immune to it. Okay. So the other guy didn't get killed, he just, uh. He just got knocked away somehow. You know what? Let's go for all three of them, why not? I know we're spending way too much time fighting these guys, but oh well, it happens. Alright, this way we can actually get set up the. Let's see. Uh, you get a nice slowdown going. Uh, as long as you guys don't attack Shu, we should be fine. So you attack the Shu, you little bastards, you sons of bitches. Oh well, at least they were smart about it. Right, come on, still get your turn, still get your turn. Yes, you got your turn. Okay, very nice. You guys are just tearing those critical hits up, aren't you? What did you cast on your shell? Okay, yeah. Okay, shell for you. Uh, we want... Yeah, I guess we need to heal, don't we? Go ahead and yeah, just attack someone. I don't even care. All right, now you. We need a nice trap floor going on for everybody up front. There we go. Yeah, let's get it nice and high. Beautiful. Fantastic. That'll be nice. That'll make it be good for the other guys coming up. I didn't know you could knock away their shields with the uh, critical hit, too. I thought you actually had to get the, uh, just the water from them. Then again, I always wash their shields away you, uh, with the water spell before actually attacking them anyway, so maybe that's why I didn't realize it. Oh well. You gotta run away for. I mean, I've never, I've, I've actually never seen these guys run away. Actually, now that I think about it, evasion. That'll work. 
That'd be nice. Uh, let's see, you just go for... Yeah, I guess a mow down's better than nothing. Eventually, mow down's gonna become useless, actually. Just, uh, not yet. for a nice, powerful water And... Yeah, they're probably gonna attack Shu just for the fuck of it, aren't they? Actually, you know what? Screw it. Assuming Shu can survive this turn, he should be good to go. Alright. He is fine. Let's get a Mega Medicine for you. There we go. And now we're all set. Thank you. Yep. Why did that work? Why is this sword so bad? That's very weird. You're supposed to. Knock away a sword when you get a critical hit. I don't know what happened there, but... Okay. And that's really useless because they don't use any magical attacks. At least not that I'm aware of. I'm pretty sure their fire spear is a uh, physical attack. Don't tell me so many critical hits from physical attacks. Because that would just be a bastard move on their part. Yeah, see if you can steal anything. They don't really have anything too good to steal, but yeah, we don't steal enough as it is. Okay, that better not screw Zola out of experience for all three battles. That would really suck. I think it will, though. Yeah. Oh, well. Huh, that is odd. I thought, I thought you could actually defeat them with the uh, barrier magics. That's kind of weird, actually. But anyways, enough dicking around here. Let's actually go uh, further into the... Into the... Uh, the area that we're in here. And yeah, we could probably use some uh, mega magical medicines. That'd be nice. A couple for you, because you're going to be important. A uh, couple for you, a couple for you. Alright. Enough dicking around out here. Let's go actually to the. Where is it? We are. Where is our map? We are a little off. I don't know why they didn't show up uh, yesterday when I was trying to find these guys. And here we are in the laser field. This is going to be a very good spot for getting SP. Which reminds me. Yeah, I get it. I, I don't care about the victory music. Go away. Uh, let's see. We need to put something on one of these guys here. Um, who could use it? Uh, let's give it to Shu. Let's give him the attract aura right here. It's basically the same thing as stench, except that you could uh, turn it on and off. So that's pretty nice. Uh, let's see. We need to. We're actually gonna need to use it for getting SP. What is this? The surface looks cut. I've never seen that before. 
I got a bad feeling about this. Playable. It looks like Swiss cheese. There's actually not a whole lot of stuff to search in here, and we can't go to the, uh, we can't go to that side until we go around over here. But uh, like these little holes in the ground, you can't search them. Uh, most of the rocks on the side, there's not a lot of rocks on the side for you to search, so that kind of sucks. Uh, okay, let's let's kill this guy right here. These guys, these uh, flying needle moles, they will usually run away, but these are gonna be your your best source of getting uh, SP, and we'll find out why in a little bit here. Uh, let's see. They're not weak to anything, but they do resist earth and light. Um, if you want to steal from me, you grab your ultra medicine common and a repeater weed rare. Honestly, you can just uh, kill them with a. <coughs> excuse me. You can kill them with a, probably a nice, powerful uh, wind attack. Or just a nice, critical physical attack that works too. Heck, maybe even a low down bit. And. You save them, I guess. They do have a monster fight with those uh, bears that we saw in the distance. Alright, you can just... Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, let's just water them today. So yeah, pretty damn easy. But like I said, they will be our primary source of SP coming up here real soon. Alright, let's, uh, turn on the Attractora, and that aura, and let's kill these guys, there you go, very nice. Yeah, see, they're gonna give nice 2 SP each time. Uh, these little craters right here, these are pretty much the only things you can search around here. And these guys right here, let's kill these guys, the Armor Shelled Turtles. Uh, these guys are gonna be weak to fire, uh, but they resist, uh, water. Uh, if you want to steal from them, Ultra Medicine Common and uh, Mega Invisibility Elixir Rare. But they're weak to fire, so we can just uh, clobber them with a uh, Flare attack. And they should be pretty easy to, to roast. Let's see, without charging up a Flare attack, let's see how much that actually does. They have something like 800 HP on a hard mode, I think. These guys also have a... Monster fight, but the enemy that they, they get a fight with, he's not around just yet. He'll be around in a few minutes, actually. His face kind of looks like Jabba the Hutt, a little bit. At least in the uh, picture up there. Alright, round two, physical attack, there we go. Yeah, you do have a fat physical defense, so that's not really going to help too much. See, we did 39 with Zola's Flare Sword last time, and now we're gonna do nothing. Okay, that's a that's a great boost there. Thanks, game. I appreciate that. All right, you did like 45 last time, right? And that was with a non-charged flare. Yeah, it does a lot more. So that works. more like it. Mm. Yeah, let's see, what do we got in here? We got HP up elixir. There's actually like five of those in this area right here, so that's 15 HP right there just from the treasure chest. Okay, uh, Mr. Flying Needle Mole, come here, please. We need to lure you over to this bear because you get a monster fight. Uh, come 
I need to get a good picture of you guys. Um, come here. There we go. All right. Now, horned lazy bears and flying needle balls. They get a nice little monster fight. And for some reason, the bear has it out for these guys. Why? I don't know. But he yawns at them and they die. It's nice. Uh, Mr. Horned Lazy Bear, though, he is uh, pretty powerful. He's got something like 1200 HP on hard mode, I think. Uh, no weaknesses. Common resistance to light, just like everybody else. Uh, you can steal a Ultra Medicine from a common and a Grand Light Crystal from a Rare Steel. So that's not too bad. But you know what? Let's go ahead and yeah, let's see if we can't get that Grand Light Crystal. Probably not, but Ultra Medicine. That works too. So let's just uh, clobber you with a nice Flare Sword. Why not? I don't feel like dealing with the uh, randomness of the Shadow Sword right now. Okay, you, let's go ahead and put a barrier on because, well, this bear is, well, pretty strong, as you can see. And I think I might have missed Solo over there, but oh well. You know, as much as I like the, uh, the look of this formation right here with the uh, three spaced out in the front and the two spaced out in the uh, back, I might eventually just move the two spellcasters off to the uh, sides in the back. That way it's easier to do, like, the shield of spells. I'm thinking about it. Uh, yeah, we might want to heal you. Actually, you know what? The Zephyr should be good for everybody. Seriously, I don't know what this guy's beef is with the, uh, the moles, but... Hey, if he's attacking him and he's not attacking me, I can deal with that, sure. I'm not sure, but I think the bears also might be one of the uh, creatures that is immune to the uh, shield barrier, but I'm not sure. Or field barrier, not shield barrier. I put it on the wrong people. Oh well. Uh, let's see, how about a... Do you even have any MP? He doesn't have any MP to steal, okay. So let's not bother with that then, and... Yeah, how about just a nice shadow one? Yeah, that should get you right there. And there we go, that's two out of the new enemies. We got, or actually three. I think there's only like uh, two more new enemies around here. Alright, let's pop up that field barrier. And let's pop up that track barrier. There we go. Anything hidden back here? Uh, I do believe there is. Let's see, we got another HP up elixir, very nice. And somehow I missed this treasure chest over here, but oh well. Here it is, the cyclone. Alright, like I said, I think this guy is immune to the field barrier, but I don't remember. Yes, he is. Sword, just for the heck of it. Nice crit. You go ahead and just clobber him with Flera. And we need some healing. Mm. 
I don't think he has that multi-hit move that his, uh, his earlier cousin had, the one that, you know, killed me in, like, one hit earlier in the game. I don't think he has that same multi-hit move. If he does, I don't remember. And another dog collar, which we're probably never going to use. Okay, let me... Alright, let me see where exactly these, uh... This spot is, because I remember it's around here somewhere in this general area. I just gotta remember exactly where it is. Uh, let's see. We start over there. Ah, okay, I see where it is. Bit of gold, we can deal with that, I guess. Uh, let's see, let's ignore you for right now. There we go. And here we go. I think this is it right here. Broke an eternal engine. Yeah, I think this is the area right here where they just pretty much pop out endlessly, and you can just, uh, well, just sit here and farm on them with your, uh, with your field barrier skill. And we got long range attack for the monk there, which means now we can, uh, either attack from the back row with the same power as the front row, or we can just hit enemies in the, uh, in the back row, period. So that's pretty nice. Uh, let's see, what else we got here? Uh, I think we should... You could just uh, sit here right now and farm with the, your field barrier out like this. But there's going to be an easier way of uh, not wasting all your healing items here pretty soon. So we're probably going to do that. Let's see. Let's just grab a few more just for the heck of it. Come on out, guys. There you go. Yeah, see, they're just all over the place in this area right here. And they spawn pretty much endlessly, I think. This is the right area, right? I think it is. Or am I a little too am I a little too high up? Um, trying to remember if I'm in the right area or not here. I think it is. Yes, yeah, this, this, I think this is the right area. But the other way, just this entire area in general with these uh, flying needle balls that pop out of the ground all over the place. This is just going to be a great area for. Uh, Getting the levels up. I probably I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, grinding up here off of the screen uh, between uh, in between episodes, either in between this episode and next episode, or in between next episode and the one after that. But okay, uh, now that you guys know where it is, it's over here in this little alcove. We're just in this whole general area. Let's uh, move on, and we'll worry about that grinding just a little bit later. You, uh, are you even guarding anything that I care about? Let me kill it real fast. Can I put you to sleep like I did your brother? I don't, I don't remember. Let's find out. Shadow Wall should do a pretty good chunk of damage to him, especially since I managed to get it almost completely charged. Let's see, you go for a Shadow Sword, don't even... I was going to say don't charge it, but let's see if I can't get it a little... There you go. Yeah, a very little bit, but it helps out a little bit, I guess. Alright, and where's your Shadow Sword? It's not out yet. 
Uh, you just try to steal something from him, I guess. Or not. Alright, this should do a fat chunk of damage to him. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. I think that's the most damage we've done yet. And a Grand Tribe's Ring, very nice. Let's see, who can use that? Let's see, did I already give that first one to uh, Jiro? I think I did. Yeah, you already got that one. Um, yeah, let's just give it to you, I guess. Actually, do you... Yeah, I guess you could use the HP a little more than Mara Mara, since Mara Mara does have a uh, high HP just from being in the tank class right now. Where else do we got around this area? Did we already search? Okay, this is where we started at, I guess. Uh, Alright, over here, okay. I always get turned around in these desert areas, they all look the same. Okay, I guess a lot of the enemies in here don't use uh, barrier magic. Like I said, I didn't have barrier magic when I got to this point in the game uh, last time. Or if I did, it was uh, just the first level, so I didn't use it very much. But I thought you were gonna. Yeah, I guess you're just too big for it. See, your magic sword's not gonna do shit. Your fire up will do a lot more. Sword. Nope. Nope. I don't get why he's actually weak to fire me, but if you look at him, he doesn't look like his uh, shell is made out of metal. It looks more like it's made out of rock. So you think he'd be more weak to the uh, to the water, but also because he's a Desert creature, wouldn't he be more susceptible to uh, water based attacks and heat based attacks? Eh, oh well. Anyways, what were you hiding over here that was so important? Oop, some gold. Not bad, not bad. Uh, I don't really feel like fighting these bears, so let's just, uh,. Norm. Item. Thorn Branch. Item. And HP up Elixir. Let's see if we can't get around these chumps. Alright. Good, good, good. I might be stuck fighting one on the way out, though. Item. Debbie Elixir. Uh, go, go away. Okay, good. We made it. Run, run, run. Alright. It's not that we can't beat him. It's just more irritating to actually fight him than, well, not fight him. And here's another new enemy around here. Let's see if we can't get multiples. Alright, these uh, pyro rats right here, uh, they're weak to water. Well, because primarily because of the little... Uh, primarily because of the little firecrackers I got on them, I guess. Uh, if you want to steal from them, you can grab an Ultra Medicine Comet and a Grand Shadow Crystal from a Rare. Uh, let's see, let's just uh, carve you with a lowdown, and then we can use a nice water spell, I guess. Uh, yeah, they only have something like 400 HP or something like that, so not even a lot of HP to worry about. Let's see, 
What is the... I'm trying to figure out what that element down was, because I'm not sure what that was, but... Oh, what? Uh... Alright, you guys may not be weak to wind, or ground, but those do hit all of you guys for reasonably neutral damage. So let's just take you out that way, I guess. I like how their fire attacks are doing a whole six damage. It's just uh, fantastic there, guys. Yeah, let's just use window, why not? The problem with the water spell is it only hits the one row. Lot of damage to you guys. Ooh, HP, that's nice. I can use that. Let's see, I think we should actually be able to kill him with just the uh, mow down and the window attack we got going on. So, you just go ahead and defend. And let's see how much we do here. Yeah, close enough. And what do we get? We got Repel Aura, which I'm probably never going to use. And Attack Amp. Now this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful skill. Alright, let's put that on right away, actually. Uh, let's see. Marumaru. What does it do? It increases the range of your attacks. So basically, it works on uh, magic attacks, uh, magic sword attacks, and... Uh, and regular attacks, uh, so your magic sword attacks and your regular attacks, and it basically makes it so it hits more enemies the more you charge it. So put that on with uh, with a charged attack and attack amp, and it just you could make your your water sword hit everybody, your regular attack hit everybody, your shadow sword hit everybody. It's beautiful like that. Um, I forget if the absorb HP works with the uh, uh, I, I forget how I forget how the absorb HP works with the extended ra extended range, but even if it doesn't work that well with that, because I forget, uh, it still works fantastically with just uh, magic sword and uh, just a regular attack. And you basically don't need bow down anymore because you can just have charge attack, attack amp, charge it up, and there you go. You're good to go. Uh, let's see, let's get rid of. Uh, Let's get rid of Endure for right now, and put on Attack Amp right there, and let's get in a battle real fast to see how... Ooh, poop. I turned. Medicine? Seriously? Alright, let's uh, fight someone real fast just to see how... just to see how it works. Kill you, Mr. Rat. Alright, you go ahead and charge up the lowdown. I don't think the uh, attack range works on lowdown, I don't think. Which is why it's going to be useless once you get attack amp for everybody. Okay, but magic sword, water, let's start with the guy in the middle. And now let's charge it up. Yeah, look at that. The more you charge it, the more it hits. So very nice. That's just... That just, that just makes your physical attacks so much more useful. Because now you can uh, now you can hit everybody this week to water. With the water spell for everybody instead of just... Uh, Having to choose between like uh, hitting everybody with the window like I'm doing here, or just hitting the one back row with uh, with window or uh, water. So yeah, that's just really nice.
Oh, I must not have. I must not have got the back row. Oh well. But still, it hit him all for 600 damage. A, a mow down would have hit him for what? Maybe 200, something like that. Yeah. So attack amp is just very nice. All right, and we managed to get through most of the laser fields. I think uh, next time we're going to go ahead and go through the rest of the laser fields. And, well, we'll try to make it through and not die. So, guys, I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.